And City themselves, they're in unbelievable form. They've only lost two of the last 24 games. One of those was a draw. They've won the last eight in the Premier League. Seven clean sheets in the last 10 in all competitions. You know, they are absolutely flying. Three three quick, uh, clean sheets away on the trot in the last three in the Premier League. That's that's what you're looking at here. And the thing is now you're looking at, at Palace saying 11, 11 points clear relegation and 11 clean sheets this season. So they do make it difficult for sides. And that's certainly something with that clean sheets and with that defensive mentality, it certainly won't be easy for City to break Palace down. One thing I would say as well, I say with Milivojevic and the penalties, Zaha has won six of the 11 penalties that Palace have won this season. So with him in your side, you've always got a chance of getting a penalty outsider, as I'm saying. Sergio Aguero, 27 goals this season for him, 15 in his last 15 appearances. So most people, when you're betting Aguero, if he's in the team, you fancy him to score. But he's only scored four goals away this season. So that's certainly something that you, you go against him. I think overall, I'm saying City, the form they're in, I think they will bounce back and given Palace's record of keeping sides out I, th- I don't think it'll be a high scoring game under 2.5 goals looks a very good bet to me Manchester City to win to nil in this and Manchester City to win and under 2.5 goals